Good morning. Uh, you think it's a winter, yeah? I think so as well. But today and yesterday. Two days ago, I was thinking it's a summer. And that's why at the, bo at the boot of my car, I got a swimming truck suit there. Yeah, just in case if after two hours, the weather changed again to 18 degrees like two days ago, why not to jump in passing somewhere a public swimming pool? Yeah, good. This side the snow, that side the swimming pool. Swim here, 18 degrees. I think half of the village is 18 degrees, the other half is minus three. This is what's, what it looks like about two days ago. Crazy weather. So, uh, this is my... If my memory doesn't lie me, it should be about my 15 or 16 videos for this week. And the good thing is that doesn't matter the weather was beautiful two days ago. Monday and then uh, what was Tuesday, every day I'm making videos which is windy and cold. Doesn't matter what's shiny and sunny, you know. <laughs> anyway, this is my luck. I'm in the village called Nedan. The village is just five minutes drive proper five minutes drive from Pavlikeni, which is that direction. And the village square is that direction, which is, I can say, 10 minutes walk from the property we're going to put on the market. We're going to put on the market this property, which is starting where the end of the barn is. Uh, so from here you go here, asphalt road, proper round, turn right, and there you are going to the square. The village has two shops, one is with a bar, Proper internet, as I mentioned to you, it's just five minutes away from Pavlikeni, where you know, how the train station, good shops, banks, notaries, everything you need, hospital, and it's a nice town which developed last seven, eight years already. In some of my videos, I'm saying six, seven, in some of I'm saying seven, eight years. I think I become a bit of a a bit of a small bit of me become a, a, a liar. <laughs> okay, so obviously you can see how the road is clean or not, but it's a tarmac road and the village is busy with people because it's close to Pavlikeni. Uh, I had a look around and I can say definitely that there is a, uh, a lot of uh, renovated property. Some are in the progress of renovation. There's a few new built houses as well. So the property we're going to put on the market is this one. And the owner is uh, uh, trying, he bought the house uh, 2016 with an idea to make business with honey business. So that's why he got uh, nearly 70 beehives. But last few years, a lot of bees died and he reinvest, reinvest. So it was a little bit like a waste of money for him. And he has no intention because he lives in public anyway. He got the house there. So he has no any intention to keep the property in case it's not work out for the honey business he was going to, to make. So that's why this is the reason, which you know from me that it's very important to know why the property is on the market. You know, because some properties comes on the market because of the problems with the property, like moisture, like constant uh, problems with the neighbors or whatever. So I'm always trying to find out why the property is for sale, you know. So this is part of the part of the honesty business. <clears throat> so from outside, we got this barn with this shed. You can see the roof, by the way, I saw it from inside. The roof up here is not bad at all. Structurally, it's very strong with the oak beams and with the, uh, these wood sticks, which holding the mainly the, 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 the tiles are good as well, except only this part here. You can have a look and see and how the roof went down like a, a bit type of a sunk down, but it is because there is a one of these beams, sticks, wooden sticks, which are cracked. And you can see this, that is what is caused this problem here. So in my opinion, this one could be fixed very easy. Of course, it needs to be done next, like say six, seven months. Otherwise we will be cracked this side up from up here. All the rest is good and the main structure beams are really in a good condition. Otherwise, the building is a mixture between 
bricks and mud bricks you can see them and it starts from there the border going all this way up to up to here see the fence here is missing and it's typical with we got this standardly mud bricks with no cover used to be a cover but cover being removed because of these bushes push it push it years and years and as i said the guy bought this especially as a location and land because it's at the end of the village and it's easy to look after beehives here you know so obviously he has gone totally but he was a, it was a, like a, i can say it was like a door here so that's why we have this hole and after that it's continue up to the plant border continue up to here <coughs> up to here you can see so this is the bricks which the neighbors finish so we start all the way with no fence here definitely barn and the end of the barn so we got all this side on this road we got a piece of land in front of the house and we got a piece of land in behind the house. The total land is 1,700 square meters, which is a proper size of a land. And you know that I always mention it's really nice that you have a living area garden and behind you get another garden, which is a beautiful orchard with very, very uh, different type of young trees, which already started because they're more than four years old. They start to produce good fruits. And the soil here is a black one. Again, it's a good one. So while I am here, I'm going to zoom from here before I go inside. I'm going to zoom the house. The main house roof is looks really in a good condition, to be honest. I know that the snow is covered a bit of the slopes, but it, you can see the straight strips between each row of tiles. And then it makes sense to see that there's no going like this way. Some of the rich tiles need to be changed. Some of them need to be plastered. And definitely the property needs gutters all the way around. The house is mud bricks one with the proper proper construction, wood construction, which is make it as you know, when the roof is good and then you have a proper gutters, there's no any problem. Keep the mud brick tiles and they give you the best advantage. Keep the heat inside and keep the heat outside during the summer and keep the heat inside during the winter. So the house, which is the biggest, one of the biggest advantage I can say, I will zoom for you. There is additional extra two rooms with a roof and the roof is attached to the house. I will zoom for you this roof and you can have a look and see there's some twists on it, but mainly it's not in a bad condition at all. Follow the shape of the beams. Okay, back to the gutters rich tiles and the ends need to be sorted out plus needs to be sorted out the connection between the main house and this extra building but this gives us a really really good ideas when we're going to discuss uh, before we start in our in the beginning of our second video then we're going to discuss the options for connections how many bedrooms can be done and everything i like the property it's it's itself because it gives an options to live on the ground floor plus to have an extra upstairs toilets and bathrooms and bedrooms for a guest or for friends or it could be for a bigger family very handy and down there we got another building where we're going to see now and i'm i'm zooming the roof so i'm going now inside but i'm going inside from the main door there show going to show with the barn inside so you can see the structure of the roof which is really good and the barn is a really good option and i like that the barn is face on the street you know which is makes the property a bit more private from here so the house is number number 13 who knows it could be number 13 and when you go to ask the mayor the mayor can tell oh it's number 135 you know because it was number 13 10 years 12 15 years ago and they start to come from here and it's the number 13 but if they start after about two years ago they start to count from the other side of the village it could be 135 you never know okay let me go inside now and look at the shed the shed is in a good condition the walls and everything the only problem we discuss is this you can see that's why i am here to show you this you can see where it's cracked you know and that is what's caused the problem and it comes here and there is a gap where the water leaks still very good straight walls 
the only problem is that from this side you saw that these ones move a bit but don't forget we got a concrete color here so the concrete color is here no problem at all you can still remove these bricks and rebuild them you know so not a problem you can see otherwise the mud bricks and all is in a really really good condition what i think is the main beams like this one and that one the top one over there are in a good condition plus look at this one i'll zoom i'll zoom for you we got a really big one beam here look at how strong it is with all this and it's a really good supporting beam i have no anything to say against him against it look at this way that way that way and that big beams it's holding this part of the roof this beam is not bad connected properly and you got a nice straight wall there with the proper roof so what i said is <clears throat> look at the shape of the beam there going this way and then that way i'll zoom for you this is what makes the roof to looks a bit going down and up and down but you can see by your eyes by your own eyes what the constructions looks like and i think it's showing that it's strong except what we discussed of course quick look of this side quick look of that side as well above this room here and look at that i think it's it's really really strong i'm going to show that as well here we got this which actually this is a type of a room here which in my opinion it's not bad because you can use it as a wood storage or coal or even if you make the house to be warming up on uh, on uh, on uh, pellets you can make it to a pellet storage look at this not bad you know if you keep it use it as a storage and you always need a storage because people always put the stuff and stuff and stuff they never use it you know a lot of people never use it one third even sometimes half of the stuff they never use it but they keep it and they buy more and more and more so this room is nice to keep because it's close to the entrance here gate open come the lorry with the delivery just throwing the stuff there wood or whatever and then lock it this and you have it and the house is not far away from there otherwise you got a uh, shed there but this shed could be a nice summer kitchen for example we're going to see this now in um in, in a few minutes time so let's go and have a look and see the main barn the main barn structurally is all bricks are proper bricks you can see them you know and i'll show you the walls and then i'll zoom the structure of the roof look at the corners the base is stones everywhere down there you can see as well plus you got the bricks columns look at this <laughs> really proper one don't think is any any visible problems you know look at them the walls i'm going them closer so you can see and have a look of it you can see the confirmation of the what the property has been bought of for beehives again the other wall which is half mud bricks. We did sew them from outside and above them you got this. Can you imagine the mud bricks are as a base, you know, we got stone foundation there, then we got the mud bricks and then we got the proper bricks, which are heavier than the mud bricks. But obviously when the mud bricks are under the dry place, it, on the dry place, they are strongest, they're strong. Look at this, all the way there and the beams good structure of the roof to be honest doesn't need to be done anything here i think except as a hole there where you can see the sun is sharpening this need need a new tiles to be put otherwise the old beams supporting by these brick columns are really all in a good condition i don't think we need more attention to put on this barn it's confirmed that it's a good building plus the one we keep as a storage because i was thinking first of all this one should be removed and we have more space here but then i said why not you can put a lot of stuff here in case 
if you convert it uh, most of the premises in the house to a living one you definitely need need this one as a storage another quick look of this room good size <coughs> and here you can see that you can put your car or even even i can see up there the gate definitely who is buying this will change maybe this door but you got the proper height look at the height you got the proper height and a definitely proper weight we can put a motorhome here no problem at all and even the slope is not that much the slope is not that much big even not a real slope compared with the road yes you got the slope but then from this gate the length is going a bit flatter and we can come into inside here so this is the other border here with the neighbor side and the good thing is that you can see the neighbor house is by diagonal located down further down from the main house here and you got a neighbor barn there so the house is private not overlook at all of course from the road but this is just a dead end road is going there and finish there this is the house and there's another one and that's it so obviously not many people overlooked here and you always can put a proper fence on the roadside it's not that much big so it won't be cost you fortune to do this while i'm here i want to show you uh i'm going to show the garden and the fence there but before that i will zoom the roof of this extra building and we're going to see from the inside the same the roof is in a proper condition and you can see that all the waterways leaks and dripping this is where it needs to be fixed like connection there this one is not good here you can see i need a new beam there this is the end where you need to put a proper proper gutters in this case all the connections between this roof and this roof will be proper when the gutters keep the water away and won't be any problems at all for 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 here and regarding the house there <coughs> Uh, whew. regarding the house this side i'll zoom for you and as i say to you the roof is not bad at all from this side as well sorry ah uh, it's very slippery here where i'm just i'll just show you where i am i'm here and it's very slippery you know again i think i'm now sitting properly on my foot staying standing sorry properly on my foot you see this roof slope is in a good condition plus the ridge tiles the connection there needs a proper metal sheet and proper proper conversion from the biggest roof to the to the to the from the main house roof to the longest one here otherwise gutters and everything will be fixed so i like main house another extension and another extension and it goes like this way that way that way it's like a step step shape step shape house let's say this way uh before we go to the buildings I will finish first of all with the garden and the border. So we got this way down and it's go down there. We go there in a while. Then we got the barn, which is cover part of the border. Then we got this uh, mud bricks wall, which we discussed is gone. So I can see there's a, a stone foundation, but this mud brick wall gone. So you need a proper wall from there up to all the way, like down to to here which i just showed you from outside this is the end you can see this is the end with a neighbor there the end and going that way there is a outside toilet there i don't know can you see it or not let me try to show you we'll reach it outside toilet there yeah so we got this square the land is a proper square shape but what i said you can see the original height of the wall here the original height of the wall so in my opinion if you remove all this which is almost removed let's say this way and follow the shade the the height which will be totally legal and you don't need any additional permission for make it make it a proper high height of of the of the fence you can make a proper even stone fence up from there up to here the same way so this one make private enough so you can put a proper swimming pool here always sun and you can enjoy the living area garden which is a really nice space you still have space for a proper building swimming pool with some stuff there like a gazebo put a chairs you know and bench or whatever flowers whatever you want just make this the same fence here 
you can put this side but you see that here you not have a proper house from this side you got the barn of the neighbor and then you got the house so this swimming pool will be beautiful here with no any options for to be overlooked while i'm here i'm going to show you the house from this side as i said it's a proper brick mud brick house and you can see all the bricks are in a good condition all the bricks are in the good condition it's thanks to the proper roof but if you put a gutters all over the round you will have no any problems with the bricks at all look at the brick wall straight not being washed good one you know and the roof from this side i will need to jump there and i'm going to show there as well not a problem at all let's go and have a look the fence quick one from here the neighbor side there the barn look at the structure of the barn amazing stone structure amazing strong structure you can even have a look here underneath while i'm here just we'll zoom for you look at this perfect good job has been done this property smart job has been done years ago now we go to see the orchard and what we have at the back garden all the way turn right then you go this fence which you can put here i can say like a concrete foundation or then bricks and then timber again the same the same height like like let's say the half of this wall the half of this wall we can use as a height of the of the of the fence here on the neighbor side okay we got all this from there up to down there but before that look at the beautiful orchard all young trees really nice apricots cherries apples plums all these are like about 20 trees all they are ready more than four years old and they already give fruits really good one really good one you can keep them the same height just cut the branches cut the branches it's easy to reach them without any special leather or stuff and they can give you richer fruit not as a big as a amount amount and as a quantity the most important is quality if you can get like 50 kilograms from the trees you can get a proper 50 kilograms instead of get 100 kilograms and not that much rich with rich stuff okay let's go now fence you can have a look and see you got a metal mesh this side you can keep it or redoing obviously all the fence here all the fence mainly on the property all the fence need attention especially this longest the two longest side this one and the other one there definitely and the one on the street so let's say mainly the fence needs attention you can see the gate where we start here all the way down up to up to here <clears throat> you can see up to here this is where the fence finish from this side so it's a proper proper square shape all this way that way then we go down and where the toilet is just behind the toilet we got here ah this is the proper so the only this back back garden short side wall is a proper one concrete post metal mesh good quality you can have a look and see all the way so we got four sizes of the plot four sides sorry of the plot and we got only one of the sides with a proper fence metal mesh and you can see it's been new one i can say it's not rusty at all okay all the way up to here cover finished here at the corner finish here at the corner and going that way i'm going to show you now just a quick reminder the house the front garden which is about 700 square meters and this piece here is about 1000 square meters that's why it's in total 1700 so the front part we got this way missing fence then from the gate we got down all the way here 
which also is missing any the new one and from there where the house corner is start here you know okay and then we got this neighbor's side the other neighbor's side from the corner all over the way here you can have a look and see it's all over it's all over the way there yeah going that way and you got this more than three meters even from the house corner to the neighbor sides you got a proper axis from this side to look after the house the roof or any rendering etc you can have a look and see this one yeah so we've been there just a few minutes ago to show that this is going this way turn there turn there and you got this beautiful orchard beautiful orchard this outside toilet is blocked it's not in use so please if you come to see the house or buy the house don't think that this is useful you know definitely go to the bricks and to the tiles from the roof use them for something else but the hole is blocked it's full with stuff you can see now while i'm here the fence look at this and some kind of a beams at the fence or the walls look at them very straight in good condition all are in good condition and all are very straight look at this always very straight it's a good structure stone based you can have a look and see that and the wall at the back so definitely just to put a gutters fix the corner here put the gutters and keep it the house as it is it's amazing to get a natural insulation instead of spend thousands and thousands of money for this thickness five centimeters ten centimeters polyester whatever insulation just look at this all this is the insulation and like as i said all this is a nature one and you can see the stone foundation we're really good and that's the bricks perfect i'll show you now the roof underneath which will confirming the that it's in a good condition look at this confirming it's in a good condition definitely you know and it's neat to make a proper connection with the other building then sorry it's a bit foggy then fix the corner here and then we got this side here as well look at this i'm trying to show you but because of the sun and it's difficult to walk here anyway i don't care about this this is my job to make the things to look easier even they are difficult so you can see the corners that is the main otherwise all the rest is in a good condition the house underneath as well you can have a look and see it that's why i'm here all the melted snow is dripping on my head and now i feel like a, you know good one you can have a look and see yeah definitely so this is a good house keep it as it is put the gutters fix the corners of the roof few rich tiles and that's it and you got the natural insulation and everything so now i want to try to show you this slope of the roof that i'm going to try to go above this metal sharp mesh here like this way and that way so i'm now can be classified as a as a as a burglar because i went to the neighbor's plot look at this oh my god the roof this side it's not bad but i can't say that it's, you can see it properly but definitely rich tiles need to be checked otherwise it looks like the snow is flat not going up and down so shouldn't be any problems with the roof this side as well and i think it's been proved by underneath as well but you know we need to follow oh my god let's go here yes yeah wow oh i like this adventure i like this adventure i'm going back home wet cracked with a lot of stuff in my pockets in my socks etc <laughs> it's a funny story when i go home i looks like a human being like a plant 
like a bush, like a whatever you call. <laughs> okay, I'm back now to the proper garden before I'm being cuffed by the neighbor here. And I'm going to make a, some kind of a jump on the roof of this side of the roof. Okay, look at this. You can see the signs of the strips and rows which are visible in the snow. Nothing wrong, I think. Of course, except corners there and, uh, and corner there. So we got the extension we discuss here, which I say to you means to be a bit much more properly done, which is not a big deal. And I'm going to try to zoom the roof of the shed and extension from this side, just trying to hide from the sun. Okay, I don't know how visible it is, but it's a... Uh... Come on, the telephone, yeah. Okay, now we are going to the lower stage and jump on the roof. Look at this. Good roof. Really, really good roof. And this is the end of it. So this need, I think this one needs fixing here. Few tiles, connection there. And I'll tell you why I'm telling you few tiles. Because you can see these mud bricks are in a good condition here. Only there, only there, <clears throat> we got a problem with this. Need new tiles and to this wooden lats to be changed, definitely, from there up to all the way. So here we can't see any big problems with the walls because the bricks are not mud bricks. But here, where we got a few mud bricks, this wall being a bit touched by the water, even not being washed too much, I can say, but they've been touched by the water because of these leaks, you know? So this needs to be fixed. Plus here, we got some kind of, used to be a problem, not anymore. You can see this is a bit deeper, which has been washed, but I don't think it's a problem to be fixed, you know? So you can have a look from here and see the wall is not bad at all. You can see the wall is not bad at all here. You know, but you always can, you always can fix this wall, you know, but it's still time. I mean, this connection here needs to be properly done with a proper metal mesh because it's leaks, I can say. And you can see, you can see the wet small spots here, which has been done. Definitely, this is the main things which need to be fixed, you know. So I think I did show you everything from outside. Uh, this roof we discussed here already, you know, and then I'm going to show you the last step, which I say to you, first step, second step, third step. It will come the step shape house, definitely. Look at this roof, this is a good one. I can see straight away, no any, uh, you know, visible, maybe because it's covered by the snow, but I'm right when I say it's not visible <laughs> problems. Yeah, I am right. Look at this. <clears throat> if there was a problem, if there was a problem with the roof, these mud bricks here will show this to us. But you can see them, they're more dry than <clears throat> anywhere. You know, look at it. So the brick styles never been touched by the by the water, which means the roof construction here is good. And we got all this brick back wall. Perfect. And this roof, as we discussed, need to be fixed at this end. Okay, one quick look of the trees. <coughs> plum trees, plum trees, apricot trees, apricot trees, plum trees cherry tree is there, you know, it's a beautiful. And look at, there's a few hills there at the back as well. So the house has its own total private, in my opinion. And I'm sure when we go inside, we are going to see what a big flexibility with the options, all this step one, step two, step three building has, definitely. While I'm here, let me zoom this part 
is a conformation of the main house roof good quality so i think this house got everything you need to start to renovate and to do the pleasure the renovation with pleasure nothing need measure it to be redone i mean like completely new roof or or completely new wall of course you can remove some of the walls you can build some more walls but it's structurally strong and it's really good take it as it is and use the natural insulation definitely the only main things which need a total work is the two-thirds of the of the fence otherwise the plot is a good size the village is good so you got to, what to do definitely but it's what a lot of people looking for to make and to see their places you know to see their self in a property in their dream property and to have a dream property i don't think it's very difficult if very rare to find a, a dream property ready to move in just go straight away and take off your shoes and go in and start make your dreams true it's very difficult it's happened a few times in my business life like two days ago yesterday i got to negotiate a good property for a client she sounds so 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 happy because she said this cover all of our boxes and she couldn't even sleep so this is happened i know but it's happened very very rare you know and sometimes it's not happened for someone never that's why if you're looking for your dream property Look it for your dream property to take off your shoes and go in. But at the same time, don't miss the projects and the good options like this one, which could be become your dream property, of course, with the time, money. But, you know, you. the most important is to pay what you get, not to pay, not to overpay it. Okay, now we're going to see this inside. And then we are going to see the house from inside and you will going to be surprised how many options is this gives to us so this building actually is like the vast one which in my opinion you can keep separately from the house make it like barbecue type summer kitchen or barbecue here look at this it's it's a good good size it's a good size to be a summer kitchen with barbecue because if you build a swimming pool there Will be very handy you can keep some stuff in this room for the swimming pool tools or whatever as you got the timber there you know it depends what you want to do but this one is a good for barbecue and summer kitchen i can say and you can see really good structure of the roof with all these supporting beams by oak you can see them strong one and it's a really good condition even underneath all the way you know very fresh and you got room above there as well i never realized that there is a room space there could be like a good storage look at this i don't know can i zoom for you from here i think i can so you can have a look i think it's a good condition yeah as much as possible I can show you, it's in a good condition. And you see from outside as well, you know, and you saw the walls and you saw the mud bricks there, which are really good condition. So let's put it as a summer kitchen and barbecue. And here we can put in this room a lot of stuff. It's a good proper size, you know, a lot of stuff, tools or whatever you want. And my favorite, my favorite, my good friends, Spiders cobs, cobnet. <laughs> yeah, look at the size anyway. I think it's a really good one. Really good one. So this will be like a two room plus kitchen and summer kitchen and barbecue area here. Yeah, definitely. Now we are going to the second video and we will start from there. We discuss all the options, what we have inside of the house, how we can make it connection where we can put the living room etc this is of course you know always my opinion which doesn't need too much with your opinion at all <laughs> 